is Miranda and today I'm here to review the new book, Check Please, book two, which is the second and final installment in the Check Please series world, I guess we could technically call it, right? I um, actually never read this when it was a webcomic. I had like seen it randomly on Tumblr, but I never checked it out myself. I, I really didn't get into web webcomics actually until like last year. I discovered Check Please and Heartstopper actually around the same time as each other, which is funny because I mean, you think of them as similar, but like aside from like having an LGBT main couple and characters, they're like one's in America, one's in England, one is like college and sports, and one is like high school, secondary school, I guess, and shenanigans that happen with that. But I do think that like since they're two of the most popular web comics, I always like associate them in my mind. The thing though, actually, Check Please reminds me actually more of um, All for the Game series, which I know is a little weird because it's not even like the same setup like graphic novel wise, but I just feel like where All for the Game is like kind of balls to the walls intensity and they just go like crazy like if you want like the sports and the kind of like camaraderie and the LGBT characters but without like the balls to the wall stuff then like Check Please is a good one because it has that team camaraderie it has that sports it's got the characters and the heart and stuff so like they kind of like I feel they're more similar actually than Heartstopper but I always do hold them together with Heartstopper just because I found out about them at the same time. So I read Check Please book one like I said I didn't um, read the web comics at all. I might have seen occasionally some of them but unlike Heartstopper like yeah my first foray into them was actually finding the book and reading it and I really really loved it. I think the art is so cute and I really hope the artist and the author slash I can you just say artist right just artist because they they write the book and they do the stories but I really hope they continue to do more stuff that they're really passionate about because you know this is like what they were passionate about like hockey you really can feel that intensity and that passion that they have for and I think that's what makes it so good so check please book two since it is the final book in the series is about Biddy's junior and senior year at college and of course this is after Jack has graduated Jack is now in the pro levels at Providence he is playing for a big NHL team his team is really awesome and really has his back which is really really nice it is definitely still focused on Biddy which I liked I feel like it was a good mix of like seeing Jack but like not seeing Jack really outside of too much of like what Biddy would know so it still felt like Biddy's point of view and Biddy's story which was really really nice I will say that obviously this is the book for the whole book they're a couple what just flew past my window like li it looked like a rabbit just leaped like 20 feet in the air and took off I've never seen a bird that looked like that okay anyway they're a couple this whole book which is really really cute and in the beginning they're keeping it a secret and just to themselves but what I really liked about their relationship from the start is how open and honest they were with each other in their communication and just how deliberate the author was in showing that. I really, really like that. There's multiple, multiple instances where one of them isn't feeling well and is kind of just like, I don't expect you to solve this problem or do anything about it. I just need to tell you how I feel and the other person is super supportive and is like, you know, I'm just going to be here for you however you need me to and support you with that and it was just really really nice to see like that open and healthy communication because I feel like especially with them keeping their relationship a secret at the beginning it could have caused so many issues of like one person not feeling as comfortable with it being a secret and kind of not saying that like keeping it to themselves but there was even an instance I think where Jack said something of like no like don't keep things to yourself like say them out loud even if you think like it's not important or something because I want to know like I'm your partner I want to support you and I think that was just so important to see I mean you forget that I think because they're such a great couple that like before they got together Jack and Biddy are very very different personalities Biddy's very you know open and humorous and expressive and Jack is more reserved and shy and he's working on that and kind of getting out of his shell especially with his new team but I think yeah it's definitely important that even though he is reserved and Biddy is someone that kind of will pretend he's fine for the sake of other people. They let the walls down around each other and are really like, you know, 
we're going to be open and honest with each other because that's the best way for this to work and that's the only way that this is going to work you know is if we're open and honest with each other there's so much going on that we need to make sure that we always have each other's back so I really really like that and then of course this was um the final year for a lot of for all the characters practically that we got to love there's some new fresh meat that um come in that I really like too but I mean for the most part it's saying goodbye to a lot of the characters. And I think the author really nailed that kind of feeling of graduating and leaving college. And especially when you have um, friends that you've lived with that you're really close with that are older than you, uh, and they graduate first, how different that feels when you're kind of like the big man on campus now and you're not, you don't have all these people to look up to, you know, and how you're the one that people are looking up to now. And I feel like the author did such a great job capturing that kind of that bittersweetness of like, I, forged myself in these last four years you know of college I changed in ways I never imagined I found myself I made friends I made a relationship I discovered the sport I love in the case of Biddy and you know now it's kind of all it's changing you know that you're not going to see each other as much anymore you know that for Biddy it's like probably not playing hockey a lot or again ever really except for just like fun and I think it's a lot of uncertainty but it's also kind of being respectful of what you've gone through in those last four years and who you've become and how you've changed and how you've grown and I think yeah like they captured that perfectly like I was getting teary-eyed by the end especially I mean to see say goodbye to like the people before Biddy who were graduating before him that was hard just because I feel like you know everyone knows that of like having friends that are older than you and they graduate or move on in some capacity before you like that's always really hard because you're kind of you feel like the one left behind but then I also feel like just having you know, him graduate was a whole thing and having, you know, the the whole um, ceremony of you go on the ice one last time and kiss it, kind of like goodbye. Like, I was getting really teary-eyed and I didn't even play a sport in college or high school and it was just like that kind of group feeling. And I love how the author, like, expands it so it's not just a sport. So, like, you can appreciate it and relate to it even if you didn't play a sport. It's if you were in the newspaper, if you were in debate club, like if any kind of project group you were in, you make bonds with these people and you know it's hard to be like I'm not gonna, this thing that I've put so much passion and so much of my life in for the last four years, it's not gonna be there anymore and even if it is it's not gonna be the same way, it's not gonna be something that I eat, breathe, and live, it's not gonna be something that is 10 minutes away from where I live on campus or something like that and it's just yeah I feel like that essence, that kind of magic and that kind of once in a lifetime weirdness feeling of like these last four years that I have completely wrapped myself up in this like now it's time to go out on my own and it's gonna be completely different but I have the skills to deal with it, nailed it like felt it completely like I said was even getting teary eyed at the end and it's just yeah it's just it's such a good book guys it's so heartwarming and it, it, it there's always positivity in it which I love it's never like there are moments where it's hard and there are moments when characters are uncertain of themselves but like I said especially in this book there was always the emphasis on communication and talking and not hiding things from each other and being open and honest about what we're feeling and not hiding things and there were also definitely some humorous parts I don't want to spoil anything but I do love quick quick spoiler if you haven't seen it um so I'll raise my hand <laughs> when my hand goes down it's fine but when Jack and Biddy finally tell their friends that they're dating I love how all the friends have to act like they're surprised and like they just kind of like knew from how they were seeing them but then like in their heads you see that they all had a moment where they definitely caught Jack and Biddy and Jack and Biddy were not being as secretive and subtle as they thought they were and my favorite is with um oh I can't remember who it is but it's the two boys and they see Biddy on the phone like talking to Jack and me and like you're the best boyfriend ever blah blah, blah. and they're both like we take this to our graves like they can never know that we said it and I loved like little stuff like that like it shows the true like it just it feels like you're reading like a group of friends and that's how it should be you know like you feel like one of them and I just love their inside jokes I love all of it and I'm really yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna miss it a lot I like the little bonus stuff in the back was really cute you got to see just some random stuff with like pranks which was really fun but overall yeah I'm definitely gonna miss this series it's quick if you read both book one and book two like I did it doesn't seem like it lasted forever but when you know how much the author put into this how far they came from just doodling the first character in a random notebook in college to now having two 
full-on published books that people love like it, it's inspiring honestly so I gave this book five out of five stars if you have read it please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down in the comments also make sure this video thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time bye